So today uh, is a very special day for us at Learning and Creativity because uh, on behalf of LNC, I'm going to uh, do a very short interview of a very, very talented veteran artist who has already been featured in our uh, artist profile. And her name is uh, Mrs. Monika Talukdar. She hails from Uttarakhand, India, and she has come to Plano uh, near Dallas, Texas. Uh, and she's with her son and daughter-in-law right now. And she is having this beautiful uh, display of her art. You can see this Ganesha and uh, this Durga painting, which is so lovely. This is collage, mixed media. This one is wash painting. And I'm going to introduce uh, the paintings individually in our uh, artist profile segment. Some of it is already there and some we are going to feature. So we are just going to know in a few words about uh, Mrs. Talukdar's journey, which uh, we have already covered it very briefly in her artist profile. And then uh, we have done uh, a very detailed interview with her. We have conducted it via email. But then I would want to know very briefly uh, in this video footage about how she's feeling about today's uh, display of her art and how she feels about her journey so far. So would you want to say something to uh, our readers, Kakima? Well, it's uh, wonderful coming here. The response is fabulous. And at WECO, at the library of Hewitt li uh, Public Library and Art Gallery, I had my exhibition from July to September. And now, of course, here I'm having at uh, Dallas Plano. And uh, I must say, people are responsive and very sensitive to my paintings and uh, it's very encouraging to be in, here in USA and uh, display my works. So do you, uh, do you want to say a few words about the Waco exhibition, how the response had been and uh, as I had already interviewed you in the email where I asked you that if you have any uh, culture difference the res which is reflected in the uh, reception of the Indian audience when you uh, exhibit your paintings in India vis-a-vis -vis here in the US. Is there any cultural difference in the responses or how they view or perceive your paintings? Yes, certainly there is a, a little difference because here the people are much more responsive to your works. They like to share new works, new thoughts and new ideas and they are open to a lot of new things. And since I had depicted a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, my paintings uh, as, uh, from Uttarakhand, from where I, to which place I belong, and uh, since I, my landscapes are very different from the landscapes that most people depict about nature and my nature paintings are very uh, are actually have a def different technique and style mm -hmm. so people were very inquisitive about my technique and style and how I did them and what uh, what sort of area I came from because I live at the foothill hills of the Himalayas and they were very interested in knowing the place mm -hmm. since I had depicted nature in all its form okay and I had already also uh, que questioned you about the influence of the hills, especially the Himalayas in your painting. And you have answered them in much details uh, in your written interview. But we would want to uh, have a few more words about your journey in the foothills of the Himalayas and how that has shaped you into the painter that you are today. Just a few words, if you could share. Uh, well, uh, during childhood, of course, I, I was brought up in Allahabad. And there I learned Bengal School of Art from Subir Sanghal, uh, the wash painting style. And when I came to Dehradun with my husband here, I, I, I was exposed to a, to a lot of, uh, say, nature, to the mountains, to the rivers, Ganga, Jamuna, and uh, to, uh, I mean, the open air. And my, since my husband was a geologist, we used to go out into the open and. Uh, be uh, 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 communicate very closely with nature and uh, then a blind artist Binod Padma Vibhushan Binod Bihari Mukherjee he came to settle in Dehradun he came from Shantiniketan and he exposed me 
to the inner spirit of nature that uh, i mean apart from nature in its real form the inner spirit of nature the inner uh, language of nature the form of nature the different aspects of nature the color the form the uh, the techniques so i i had a different view of nature altogether and therefore my paintings are uh, depict actually the spiritual side of nature of uttarakhand rather than the realistic okay okay and i see a very beautiful depiction of a tree it's uh, the tree i think it's a mountain tree right here yeah uh, would you want to uh, share a few words about yes, this painting? Yes, that's my wash particular? painting. It's a wash uh, painting, okay. That's my wash painting done of the pines of the Himalayas. And uh, it took me, uh, wash painting takes a while to do. And I was uh, really inspired by the uh, misty spiritual beauty of the Himalayas. Okay. The spiritual beauty of, of nature. And that's how I started. I, earlier, I was more a figurative artist. But later on, I started, I gradually journeyed into the different aspects of nature, the different beauty, the aesthetic beauty of nature. And uh, the inner eye was actually uh, exposed to me by Binod Bihari Mukherjee, whom, whom, uh, from whom I learned about the real soul of nature and how we learn from nature and uh, nature i was so close to nature the trees was were speaking to me the air the sky the mountains they all communicated me, with me very closely and i brought out the essence of the himalayas through my paintings thank you uh, Katima. that was so lovely hearing about your experiences and thank you for sharing them with our readers, we really appreciate you and your work. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Lopak.